Hey, this is Dr. McManus. I wanna talk about labs here and there. So I'm gonna start making little videos to teach you guys about labs. So today I'm gonna to talk about CRP, otherwise known as C-reactive protein. Have you ever seen this on one of your lab reports? Well, it simply is what we call a non-specific marker for inflammation in the body. It is by no means the only inflammation marker. It's not, it's, can be, uh, high with, you know, you bang your knee, CRP can go up. You got a cold, CRP will go up or any infection for that matter. And it could be an infection that you don't even know you have. So if you have a CRP level, it comes back high for no obvious reason. Maybe you have an abscessed tooth that you need to go look, get looked at. Maybe you have a bladder infection that you don't know you have. Um, CRP could also be increased with cancer, whether it's a known cancer. And so if somebody has cancer, we can monitor CRP levels to see how the cancer is doing. If the CRP is rising, that could be a concern. Um, also, it, because it's a nonspecific marker, if somebody's really not behaving themselves with their lifestyle issues, um, you know, CRP levels might be high. Something like asthma can cause really high CRP levels as well. So if you have a CRP level that's elevated, think about where it could be coming from, whether it's inflammation or infection, and it's something that needs to be monitored. And usually, um, just depending on how high it is or if it's remaining elevated despite interventions, then you just might need to dig a little deeper.